Eric Hammer here, registered physiotherapist. Today, I'd like to talk to you about some treatment approaches for individuals who have uh, arthritis within the CMC joint, which is essentially just the lower portion of the thumb here. But before I begin, please hit that subscribe button below so you'll be notified about any new videos I have here in my channel. So essentially the CMC joint, which is called the carpal metacarpal joint, it, it's located right in this lower section of the thumb and it's a very common area where we'll tend to get uh, a lot of wear and tear over time. So particularly for individuals that do a lot of gripping type uh, positions or there's a lot of sort of fine motor movements that the individual has been doing either with work um, or you know uh, other maybe hobbies, knitting, um, things that involve a lot of these sort of dexterity movements, particularly with the thumb, right, where we're going into, uh, this is referred to as opposition, right, where you're going into these positions where you're bringing the thumb to the different uh, fingers, right, with these different activities. And so what will happen over time, right, is uh, there'll be some wearing of the, of the cartilage within that joint, and that can create some arthritis, which will limit movement, cause pain, it can cause some, uh, some swelling, and, uh, and this pain, swelling, it can fluctuate, right? So for some individuals with this, they might find that, hey, they're really stiff first thing in the morning, or even uh, for some individuals, they might uh, be Im impacted with weather changes, pressure changes, and it can cause a lot of pain and discomfort and lack of mobility, right, when doing different gripping activities that are required. And so there's a couple uh, exercises and approaches that I've found uh, really beneficial uh, for this type of condition. The first thing is to actually warm up the joint. Uh, now I would suggest this more so when there's no active inflammation. So for some individuals, they might actually have a little pocket uh, of swelling that they're noticing within the, that, that particular area, that particular joint. And when it's really acute and inflamed, I typically just have the individual put some ice on it and, and, and not do a whole lot of activity. Maybe going into some gentle, uh, pain-free range of motion in the thumb, but really not being aggressive at that, uh, at that point. When, when they're having a day, right, where the inflammation might be down, but uh, they're really stiff, uh, what I would have the patient start out with then is to, is to, to actually warm up that area. Uh, and, and one thing that's been really helpful is something referred to as a wax bath. And so essentially with this, you would dump your hand uh, in the wax and warm up the hand, right? Um, and, and, and basically put like an oven mitt on your hand for a good 10 to 15 minutes as a warm up point, okay? Um, if, if that's not available, you can just put your, put your hand in some warm water um, you can put like a little hot pack around it, cover it, and, and again, the idea would be to do that for about 10 minutes or so. From there, some of the exercises I would then recommend would be a little bit of traction, so some self-traction on the thumb, where essentially I'm taking my other hand, I'm, I'm wrapping my hand around the thumb, and I'm gently pulling outwards, gently. Not going into any pain, I'm holding for a few seconds and letting go holding for a few seconds and letting go. And so the idea with this, right, is we're offloading the joint. Uh, the, the traction in through this joint will help to lubricate it, will help to increase mobility, uh, and can help with pain uh, in through that area. So that, again, is an, another good starting point. I might also do a little bit of self-massage, right? Again, this could be with my other thumb or with um, a tennis ball to actually uh, reduce any sort of uh, protective spasm within the thenar eminence which is this muscle right along here um, so I found that a good approach and a lot of a lot of times if we do a little bit of traction that muscle actually starts to let go right when you offload a joint in that way a lot of the muscles that are in this protective spasm because we're offloading it they don't have to protect so much and so they start to release and let go from there right I would gently go into uh, this opposition position, right? So basically with this exercise, you're trying to bring your thumb to each individual uh, finger. Now I would do this after, right? You've done the self-massage, you've done the, a little bit of traction in through there. Um, you can also perhaps uh, uh, do a little bit of uh, passive 
mobility, right, into thumb flexion and abduction. So basically using your other hand to move the thumb, again, pain-free. Now again, if you're having a good day, okay, so and what I mean by a good day is where, uh, hey, it's feeling pretty mobile, uh, I'm not having a whole lot of discomfort, this might be in the afternoon time, so I'm not as stiff in the morning, perhaps you've already done a little bit of mobility type exercises, then you might wanna try doing some grip strengthening exercises as long as we're staying clear of pain. So um, I, I like to use a TheraPutty or, or, or basically Silly Putty to do some, uh, some gripping. And again, what we're gonna be doing is this sort of pinch grip type activity uh, with the thumb and uh, you, can, you can try to work to a greater resistance in terms of the putty as the strength improves. So we really wanna work at strengthening the muscles that uh, cross, right, that cross that CMC joint to, uh, to help protect it. If you have any specific questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. And thanks again for watching. Please make sure to uh, talk to a physiotherapist to uh, make sure this, is ex this exercise is appropriate for you. And have a great day. Thanks again. Take care.